So uh, we're in um, Lassen Volcanic National Park. It's probably my favorite national park. I love it because of all the volcanic activity that's through here, uh, Bumpus Hell, um, and uh, Sulphur Works and other places like that that are really cool. That's something, all the volcanic activity really makes this um, national park really, really shine. I want to take you to just a really cool Drosera rotundifolia habitat. The strangest place I've ever seen it growing. It's up this hill. It's a steep hill. We're having a good time going up at this thing. So that uh, pond of indeterminate depth covered with, I guess, algae or bacteria is the source of this site. And it's just spectacular, bizarre mosses and algae of beautiful colors growing in here. Puddles of water. Here's a closer view of what that stuff looks like on the surface in that pond. Spectacular colors in this dense moss. Could sundews possibly live in this kind of habitat? Snow in the background. Okay, so now I've just switched positions and moved to the other side of this acid geothermal fen. Beth is where I was. And you can see the bright green is sphagnum. Pools of water flowing amongst the sphagnum. Some places the water is warmer, some places it's cooler. Spoiler alert, what's that red stuff in the middle of the field of view right now? Now starting to move away from that nasty water, it, uh, it gets lots of, you get a lot of sphagnum and the occasional sundew starts popping in. Look at the little beds of sphagnum black moss, and then the Drosera rotundifolia. Again, these are quite large plants, four or five centimeters across. It's just amazing that these plants are growing in such bizarre location, such a bizarre location. The plants are growing in crazy profusion around through here where the water gets cold uh, and uh, doesn't smell or anything like that. There's sphagnum all over the place. The plants are really, really nice. They're about uh, four centimeters, five to six centimeters across.